Good afternoon, everybody. Today we're going to do a stretching video. We're going to start off with neck rolls. Remember that stretching is really important for swimmers. The more flexibility you have, the faster you'll be in the water. Then we're going to do arm circles forward. <coughs> arm circles back. Then you'll switch arms, arm circle forward. Then arm circles back. Then both arms forward. And both circles back. And then you're going to do a Michael Phelps stretch where you put your hands behind you. Lean over, lift those arms up as high as you can, and then flap. Stand up. Let's try it again. Good. Now separate those legs. Hands down in the middle. Stretching out those hamstrings. Keeping your hands down, try and walk your feet in. Heel, toe, heel, toe. Walk them in. <laughs> All right. Then walk them back out. Stretch down. Then walk your hands over to the right. Center. Left. And center. Right. And center. Left. And center. All right, let's go down on the mat. All right, let's take one leg out. You're going to lift it up off the ground. Put your hands underneath your butt. Tuck your hands in. Put your head down and point and flex your toes. Point and flex. Ankle flexibility is really important for your flutter kick. Ankle rotation is really important for your breaststroke kick. So we're going to go from pointing and flexing to rotations in and then out. Switch. And then rotate. Once you're done, if you have a jump rope or a long piece of rope, we're going to work on your hamstring stretch. Sometimes when you have something to help you, they do make stretching straps, which are great to use. But if you don't have one already at home, you can use a piece of rope. Or I bought this child's jump rope at the Dollar Tree. And you're going to put one foot on the jump rope, keep your leg straight, and then you're going to pull your leg up as high as you can. You can see that he's wrapping his hands around it 
so it's a little bit higher than he normally would bring it up hold that stretch for five to ten seconds and then release do it again one more time Yeah, his leg is nice and straight, and he's pulling on it. You can tell he's pulling by the muscles in his arms, tensing up. And then release. You're going to switch feet. And pull. Looks like this leg's a little bit tighter than the other one. Relax. Connor, is that leg a little tighter than the other one? Yeah. You can tell by the angle of the leg. One more time. Put that head back. Hold that stretch. And relax. You can put the jump rope off to the side. The next stretching video that we'll do, we'll do a couple more stretches with the jump rope. You're going to do a quad stretch. Leaning back. Make sure that you're breathing through the stretching. And relax. Other leg. Lean back. And relax. Put the bottoms of your feet together. Elbows inside your knees. You're going to lean forward, pressing out. And relax. One more time. And relax. We're going to stretch out our butt. Put one leg over the other. And twist. So your le his left elbow is against the outside of his right knee. And switch. One more time each side. And switch. All right, relax. You're going to put your feet crossing over, cr like crisscross your legs. We're going to open up our chest, hands back, opening up that chest, elbows, push those elbows back, sticking out that chest. With this side profile, I should see his whole face. Good job. And then bring it back in. See his face is gone. And now let's push it back out. See how I see that face? His elbows are out of the way. And relax. We're going to stand up and do our famous streamlined stretch. And relax. One more time. Bring it all the way up. Now bring it over to the right. Center, left, center, one more time each side, right, center, left, and center. All right, and if you guys can hear that little tiny yapping 
of a dog in the background. That's our little dog right by the window who likes to do it with us. Come on, Apollo. Oh, there he is. Will you guys have a great day? Say bye, Connor.